YouTube family, Hannah here from Tula Being Mindful Movement. Today's practice is bedtime yoga. Um, so this is something that you might like to do as you're settling in for a night's sleep. Uh, also for those of you who are shift workers and perhaps need to just settle before you have to sleep in the daytime. Um, so really all you need is your bed and perhaps you might um, have some of your cushions and your pillows still around. We might utilize those as well in today's practice. Get super comfy, you could do this in your pajamas. We're going to start with legs up the wall. So you want to scoot yourself around. I'm just going to bring some of these excess cushions out of the way. But you might actually like to use one pillow underneath your buttocks. Sometimes um, it's nice to rest your hips a little bit higher. So that's up to you whether you choose to use that or not. I'm actually not going to uh, do that. But some people like to have the hips raised even higher. Uh, you might want to do what I'm doing, which is kind of scooting in sideways towards the wall and then just starting to lift those feet up. See if you can shimmy your hips in quite close towards the wall, but it doesn't have to be um, perfectly snuggled in there. And then take a moment just to feel into where you might like the arms. Some of you might like them spread wide. You might like to rest hands onto the lower belly, or perhaps even one hand to heart and one to belly. We'll be here for about another minute or so. You can have the legs quite close together. You might choose to have feet parted. For now, I'm gonna keep my legs pretty upright rather than widening the legs, but if that's something you prefer to do, you can always take that option as well. I invite you to take an inhale through the nose. Maybe let that breath go through the mouth. Inhale slowly through the nose. Feel the belly rise. And then exhale the breath away through the mouth. Let's do that again. Inhale through your nose and exhale through the mouth. Having the legs higher than heart and brain allows the blood to return towards the brain. A flush, reoxygenated. Having the legs higher than a heart is a great way to start to settle into the parasympathetic nervous system. Rest, digest, great for bedtime. Great for letting go some of the day. for the last few breaths here, just noticing whether the mind is struggling to stay centered and just kindly bring your thoughts back to the moment of now, the experience of now, the simplicity of laying here, legs against the wall. And then see if you can start to visualize this before you even start to move. But we're simply going to bring the soles of the feet to the wall or like myself, the back of the bed. And then I'm going to walk the feet as wide as they feel comfortable. So it's like a little upside down frog. Don't think that you have to go really wide with the feet, just let them go to a place that they kind of naturally fall to and allow the knees to widen. If you did have your hands on the belly, you might have moved them by now. And some of you might still be visualizing that, but start to bring your body into movement if you haven't already. 
and then just hold this next little froggy pose again for about a minute from here. You might notice all sorts of flavors appearing in the body. Maybe at this point, your focus goes to left hip, right knee, lower back. And wherever the thoughts are being drawn towards physically in the body, create a space of allowing. Maybe you simply label the sensation. Maybe you simply label the body part that draws your attention. stay just for a few more breaths. Taking two more breaths, fill up the belly, let go. So again, you might visualize the movement just for a few seconds before you head there. But I'm going to start to bring my left leg over to the right and end up in a twist. Now, you might feel too close towards the wall at this point. So if you need to, just shuffle a little away, do a little shimmy. And you might also grab one of your pillows and perhaps you'd like to place that between the knees or underneath one of your knees or both. <laughs> you don't have to have both legs perfectly stacked. You might choose to even pull the bottom leg a little further back and create more of an S shape through your legs. At this point, I'm just gonna move my excess pillows a little bit further out of the way just so they're not distracting and if possible see if you can have your nose your head centered if it feels comfortable you could even turn the head away from the turn of the knees in the opposite direction are you able to keep your shoulders relatively earthed into the mattress of the bed? If you're finding that turning the head is uncomfortable, just keep it centered. Depending on what is available to you, you might start to extend your top leg out more to the side as though you're reaching it out towards your outstretched hand and you might play with that just for a few more breaths seeing what potential you have at this time of the day in your body before we settle for deep rest last couple of breaths slowly ease your way back up to center. Just take a pause. Maybe knees are gently teepeed together, feet a little wider than hips. And then we'll roll it over to the other side. So no expectations that it'll look or feel identical. I've scooted my pillow over with me. a moment to resettle on that second side. 
Maybe you're choosing to stack the knees. Perhaps you're choosing to split the legs. So I'm choosing to bring the bottom leg a little further back behind me and the top leg a little higher, creating this letter S through the legs. But you discover what feels right for you on this side. Again, you might explore turning the head or not turning the head. In this gentle twist, we're actually creating a little compression through the spine. The vertebrae end up closing in a little bit, giving a gentle squeeze to the discs between each vertebrae. Most of the time, this can be a healthy thing to do. so that we can keep the spine lubricated. Last couple of breaths, perhaps you're exploring a little more movement. I'm choosing to extend through my top leg as though I'm reaching out towards my palm. slowly returning back through to center. Choosing to pause in that little teepee shape. Maybe you'd like to bring one hand to belly, one hand to heart. Sending in a little closing message love, of kindness towards yourself. As you contemplate this moment of self-care, self-love. You're welcome to stay as you are or return to seated. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your bedtime practice and have a beautiful restful sleep. <laughs>